dear students welcome to our virtual class of municipal corporation of greater mumbai i am sri kumar the class is for fifth standard students subject is mathematics let us begin the class dear students you studied about decimal fraction in the last video those who have not seen that video or not watched that video please go to that video before going further because it gives you the basic understanding about the concept of uh, decimal number which derived from whenever we are having denominators of a fraction in the form of tens and multiples of 10 then naturally we will be having a decimal fraction and we also learned about how to represent numbers with decimal point all these things are done in the previous video so my dear students it is your uh, duty on my humble request to tell you that you should go to the f that video before further going if you have not seen or on the other hand if you have seen that video and th that video I had started with a medicine eye drop having a MRP of 24.50 rupees that point created all the issues we don't know what is this point and we found that 24.50 indicates a fraction of that number neither it is not 24 not 25 in between and we represent it in the form of decimal form where there is a decimal point and we found that point 50 is nothing but 50 upon 100 or it is 5 upon 10 and we identified it as a fraction and that's where decimal fraction came and the easy way of representing the price on most of such items we found that representing it in the form of decimal point now if you see any price tag like this we will not be bothered about what does it mean we know what is mean by 30 rupees and another 0.25 which tells that 0.25 rupees which is one fourth of rupees it is equal to 25 paise all these things we know why because we also learned about a chart relating to paise and rupee because 100 paise make 1 rupee means every paise will be divided with 100 to know that how much rupee it is if it is 75 paise will divide it with 100 and write in decimal format 0.75 and on the other hand even in measurement of length with the centimeter meter millimeter we know the conversion now because we know that 100 centimeter is equal to 1 meter and 10 millimeter is equal to 1 centimeter all these connections we got because all these are multiples of 10 that's the beauty of it you also studied that in certain situation you may be having more complicated numbers meter to centimeter centimeter to millimeter sometimes from centimeter to kilometer all these are divisions from smaller unit to higher unit higher unit is uh, having a multiple value so all these things you studied in the last video understood in the last video you went through the textbook now we will go for some other operations as you know we know that when we studied about numbers we thought that the numbers end over there but we did addition, subtraction, multiplication and division of numbers. When we studied about any kind of new type of numbers like even fraction, decimal fraction, we have to do or we have to understand how to do the operation. That's a topic over here, adding decimal fraction. Decimal fraction will be having its own peculiarity in addition also. Why? Because there is a decimal point. That is a new entrant in our number. Abhi number ke beech mein abhi tak point nahi. Abhi ek point aage to usko bhi handle karna padega. Sometime it will become easy, sometime it will become difficult. Anyway, we are uh, familiar with uh, such kind of uh, what we say expression in our day to day life, such as if you go for any bill which is reaching in your home regarding if it is written like 2.50 rupees and 4.50 rupees you know that 4 plus 2 6 rupees 50 50 paises and means total 7 to be given you know that but mathematically if you are trying to do what you have to do you have to add 0 plus 0 0 5 plus 5 is equal to 10 you have to carry one here the decimal point which is there which will be put as it is here down understood so that technique is very important so that what happens is we will be in a position to write 4 plus 2 plus 1 7 over here understood this method you should know otherwise you know that very clearly now 0 0.50 we may write it as 50 upon 100 
or you may write it as 5 upon 10 that means 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 we have to add that means 5 upon 10 plus 5 upon 10 we have to add right so what will be the situation it will be 5 plus 5 10 upon 10 which is equal to 1 that is the one here think this way or that way you will reach to the same answer so 4 plus 2 6 plus 1 7 7 rupees you will pay if the amount on the bill is written in this format and you will do the addition like this understood my dear students so that's a simple method of understanding addition of uh, decimal numbers and sometimes the decimal numbers may create a little bit of complication if you have to add the numbers like 3.7 plus 12.2 .2, for example you will be doing the addition you will put the addition symbol 7 plus 2 9 nothing to carry simply put the point here 3 plus 2 is equal to 5 and 1 will be as it is 15.9 but on the other hand, just like before 6.8 and 5.5 .5 if you are adding, what will happen? 8 plus 5 is equal to 13, you will carry 1, the point as, as it is down. 6 plus 5 plus 1 is equal to 12, it will be 12.3. Understood? So there is no much difficult thing, but you should be, you should love it. Understood? Then point here. 1 carried, 7 plus 7, 14, 2, 24.4. So it is as simple like that. Understood? So I will just clear out this. Whatever I have written, I can clear out and go ahead. This is about addition. And there can be word problems where your ability to identify whether addition to be carried out or subtraction to be carried out will be tested. Understood? Sometimes it will be more, little bit, little bit more, uh, what we say, difficult. A situation may come in such a way that your numbers may be a little more complicated. For example, seven point zero nine plus fifty four point nine three. So you will write as the decimal point should come along in line 7.09 then 54 you have to write like this and point below point right 93 now this is again for addition suppose 9 plus 3 12 carry 1 1 plus 9 10 decimal here 1 carry here 7 plus 4 plus 1 12 1 carry again 1 plus 5, 6. So sometimes there will be more steps like this. We have to take out the 0 has got its value. Understood? Sometimes there can be more than 2, more than 3, sometimes. For example, 7.5 centimeter, I wrote an example. 14.2 centimeter. 9.6 centimeter. You will be adding simply. 6 plus 2, 8 plus 5, 13. Carry 1. 1 plus 7, 8 plus 4, 12 plus 9, 21. Carry 2. 2 plus 1, 3. Decimal at its point. Unit as it is. Only with same unit you can add. Otherwise you have to change the unit and add. Understood? So this much you should be very clear about addition. Put the decimal points one below the other in line and do the operation carrying the and uh, uh, addition is same as how we do we do it in other cases let us go ahead the next topic is subtraction of decimal fraction there is no much complication in that also subtraction is done as how we do subtraction if it is the same way how we do did our uh, addition but there can be some kind of borrowing and other thing but normally we do it will be same as it in the case of subtraction also for example if you have to subtract subtract if I say subtract sorry 
subtract eight point five eight from fifteen point four one. So I will be right fifteen point four one minus eight point five eight. The way we do subtract the decimal should be in line. One minus eight, normal subtraction. There are two methods of subtraction nowadays. One with carrying, without carrying. One minus eight not possible. We will convert this into eleven. Naturally, this will become three. Thus, when this becomes three, naturally, you will be having to borrow from left. We will go there later. Eleven minus eight is equal to three. Correct. Here it is three minus five. Sorry. 3 cannot be then you should convert that into 13 that means here it will become 4 13 minus 5 is equal to 8 right the decimal point 4 minus 8 not possible again cancel this it will become 0 this became 14 14 minus 8 6 and 0 the answer is 6.83 you will write 6.83 and how to subtract you know very well either by some of you may be subtracting without this kind of borrowing which you have studied in the class 4 with a new syllabus the method is 15.41 subtract 8.58 we will not borrow we will not instead we will add here the below in such a way that I will show you 15.41 subtract 8.58 the second method of subtraction you studied in which there is no borrowing no carrying one one when you ever see a number lesser than the number to be subtracted you will simply imagine 11 is there 8 plus 3 is equal to 11 and will add one here instead of subtracting one from here add one here that doesn't make any difference 8 plus 3 is 11 balance one added here 6 here you will imagine 14 6 plus 8 14 the decimal point will come here 14 you will carry one over here 9 plus 6 15 you will carry one over here 1 to 1 is equal to 0 so this way also you will do it any method you can use but subtraction is done the most important thing for decimal addition and subtraction is that these decimal points will be kept at the right place if I try to do one more sum, I will do it here. One more sum can be done. 63.4 from that subtract 31.8. Now the new method I will be doing 8 to 14 is 6. 8 to 14 is 6. 1 will be carried here. And 2 to 1 is 3, 2 plus 1 is equal to 3, 3 plus 3 is equal to 6, so 31.6 is the answer here and uh, you know that here the most important thing which you should take care is subtraction you have studied, nothing new in that, these all should be in a line. If they all are in line, your work is perfect. I said line, like line, all should be in line. Understood, my dear students? And decimal numbers are very useful in measurement of meter, kilometer, centimeter, millimeter, and interconversion of it, rupees, paise, in that, liter, milliliter, in all such cases decimal point and decimal numbers will come in use so it's a very important item to understand so you will try your level best to do the sums if i keep on doing the sums you will not learn if you keep on doing the sums you will learn what is it if i keep doing sums i will learn if you do you keep on doing sums you will learn don't take any help गलत होने दो वापस करेंगे वापस करेंगे ठीक करेंगे करेक्ट करेंगे ओके दैट्स ऑल फॉर मी टुडे थैंक यू
now click on the subscription button below to subscribe the channel then the bell button to get the notifications of the new videos thank you